Hi everyone, Emma here. I want to show you how to make this bracelet. So this started out with this bracelet here that I got from Cindy. This was one of my first, if not my first, uh, friend mail. And she sent me this beautiful bracelet with these Swarovski crystals. And uh, I apologize, let me get my other light here. Just to brighten this up a bit. There we go. And um, yeah, it's one of my favorite designs. It reminds me of tiny little flowers, kind of like daisy chain flowers. So I thought it's about time that I show you how to make this. I thought I, m I thought I did do a video of this, but um, I couldn't couldn't find it. I have over nine hundred and thirty videos, so sometimes it's hard to find stuff. So this is what we're going to make today. It's so simple. You're not going to believe how simple this is. So she sent me this one and instructions on how to make it. So I made this one with it, with my Ruby Swarovski crystals. And these crystals have special meaning for me because they were a factory pack. So I had a whole bunch of them. If uh, you want to take a look, there's a video out there of me unboxing my factory pack and going nuts playing with all the beads. <laughs> so this is, it turned out really nice. So on the weekend, I thought I would take up uh, one of the suggestions that um, Richard made about making floral or flower bracelets. And this is what I came up with. So I thought I'm going to grab my Swarovski crystals and maybe take a few colors that represent flowers and then have some green in there for the petals and stems. And this is what I came up with. And it turned out really amazing. And if you turn it this way, one of the things I realized now, this one, the components on it, there's... Um, 14 components plus the button and um, this makes a seven and a half inch wrist so if you're making one for yourself this one here my wrist is um, five and three quarters so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten plus the button so there you have an idea of how many of these components but this one like it it nicely sits like this so you could easily turn this into a necklace so instead of uh, and you can make it like a necklace that you take apart so you could do the equivalent on the other side and then have each side hook on to each other so this side here the button would hook on to here the side here the loop would hook on and then you'd have this beautiful flower garden around your neck pretty amazing look at the Swarovskis aren't they amazing so the other thing so part of the problem with these is you need a lot of four millimeter fire polish beads and um, I didn't realize the extent of it because I have a small wrist so you don't see the difference as much when it comes to you know making a bracelet then you realize when you go to make it for somebody with a seven and a half inch you end up almost double the beads so this here for a seven and a half takes a hundred and twenty four millimeter fire polish beads so I kind of thought there's got to be a way you can make this design without the fire polish using say a pearl and because you don't see the fire polish that much when it's on your wrist so you could substitute it for another bead so I did try that and this is what I came up with so I used pearls and these are just cheap pearls and cheap crystals and you see how lovely this came out here's another example like this and it turned out really nice these I made as buttons so you can also make these into buttons for other bracelets and um, you know for all kinds of stuff so 
that's that. So we're going to do these colors here. So we are going to use the four millimeter pearls. You need three millimeter drucks. These are for the accent beads. Like this. So you don't you only need as many as you have components of this one. So that's good. Then you need your um, crystals of any kind. You also need some 11 OC beads, some thread, and you can use whatever thread you want. I'm using the 00, uh, 0 0.005, and I find it makes it a lot easier because you do tend to go through these 11 O's a few times, and you don't want to uh, end up getting your needle stuck, and that happens at times. So I'm also using, I'm using a size 10 needle, but you could probably use a 12 to, so that you make sure you get through everything. So you're going to start with eight of your four millimeter pearls or uh, fire polish, whichever you're using. Need two more here. You're going to string those on all together. And let's, um, oops, let's enlarge this bit. So get those all on. Now there's two ways to start this. You can start this by creating a loop and making a knot, cutting the tail and weaving back through, or you can leave a tail and then at the end you can use your tail for your closure and I'll show you what I mean so your closure is this here so if you leave say an 8 to 10 centimeter tail then leave that you know coming out and then once we're done you can come back and add those I like to add my closure with a separate string uh, piece of uh, thread because if it breaks then you're not at risk of losing any of your beads because it's only attached to you know somewhere along the line but not all the beads so we're just gonna knot this up and I'm only going to show you a couple of uh, components because it's just the same thing repeated over and over so a nice not there make sure that's in there good yep and we'll cut this tail off okay now i am going to go through these one more time just to make sure And you can kind of squeeze it so that you get through a few more. <laughs> We're getting snow this afternoon. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so into spring right now. <laughs> Nobody else is. I went for a swim this morning. So a lot of people have asked how Jen's doing with her toe surgery. So she had it on Monday. Today's Wednesday. She's doing really well. She's getting a little annoyed of the inactivity. Okay, so we have our first step complete. Now we're going to add our crystals. And let's put some over here. So we're coming out of a pearl. We're going to pick up a four millimeter crystal bicone and an 11 o now this step we only do at the first step of this component and then we're going to pick up another uh, four millimeter bicone so we're coming out of this bead here we are going to go through that and the next pearl Oh, wrong way. Sorry. I'm going to flip it this way here. 
No, I guess that's not it. I don't know what I'm thinking here. This way. <laughs> Sorry. This is like three years old, this design that they did. So I'm going to come back to this. So we're coming into this one. We're going to go backwards one. But we're going to go forwards two. That's why I was getting confused. So we're going to step forward through two beads. Okay. So there's our thread. We go backwards one and then go through that one and then the next one. I'm I'm making it more complicated than it is. It's very simple. Let me try this. Do the best you can at getting it tight at this point here. But I wouldn't stress too much. Let me adjust this over. I wouldn't stress too much because you will tighten it later on. So now for the rest of them, we're going to pick up one four millimeter bicone and a 11 O seed bead. We're going to come through this bicone here. We're going to go through the pearl, the first one, and then the second one. And sometimes it gets caught on the, the finish that's in the holes. And just pull it through. Now I'm just going to pull this piece here to get that first one nice and snug. And then the second one. So you can leave them sitting out. I like to push them up so that the tension's a little tighter. Pick up another four millimeter bicone and 11 O C bead. Go through the bicone we just put on, go through that pearl and the next pearl. And do that all the way around. Like that. Bicone, 11 0. Go through the bicone, through the pearls. Like that. Bicone, 11 0. Go through this bicone, through this pearl, through the next. That. Bicone, 11 0. Through this one. Like that. So now we have the last one. Oh, we still have one more here. Bicone, 11 0. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay, so we'll do the same thing go through here and go through both those pearls like that. And pull it tight like that. So now we have to remember, so all of these are connected, but this one where the first one and the last one are, are not connected, you can see here. So we need to connect them. So our threads coming out of this pearl, we're gonna go up that bicone, and we're gonna connect it with an 11 O, just like we did the others. So you pick up an 11 O, then you go to the last one we added, go down through that bicone, Now we're going to go through the pearl Okay, 
and you can go through a few pearls at this point. Now, let's do it one at a time. The knot must be in there. Okay, I'm going to pull it tight so it's nice and tight. And don't worry about the shape. We're going to fix that in a second. It's my favorite part. <laughs> so I'm just going to go over this. You can go over a few. Okay, so now we're coming out of the pearls. We want to draw these seed beads in together. And then we're going to add our little accent bead. So you're going to go up the bicone. Now you're going to go through all the 11 O seed beads. Go through as many as you can grab at once. Like that. And then, oops, go through the next ones till you have them all. Like that. And I'm going to go through, there's still a couple more we haven't picked up. I think this is where we started. So I'm going to go past that one too. You'll see. So that's all of them that we went through, but I want to pass through a few more. Okay, like that. Now what we're going to do is pull it tight. Get my thread in the right way. Okay, so now look at that. oh, it's amazing! You don't even have to pull very tight, and that's what you get. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. This is so cool. Yeah, this would look amazing as a necklace. It has a very vintage, I don't know, 60s style to it. That's, I guess that was big, the flowers. Okay, so now we're going to pick up one of our 3 millimeter drucks. You can put whatever you want in the middle. But it definitely looks like a flower once you put that piece in. So take a look at what... Uh, seed bead you're coming out of. Uh, wait, there was one step I want to show you. So you notice how everything got loose again? So one of the tricks, and it was a tip in the instructions, is when you pull it tight, then go through these beads and come back up because that way it will secure that tension. Otherwise it just keeps loosening again. So there, it's nice and tight. I went through the bicone. I'm going to go through one pearl and come back up, and then we're set to go for our... I keep forgetting to uh, to do that till I get ready to go, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's so much nicer when they're nice and secure and snug next to each other. Okay, so make sure you go through one of the beads. And then pick up your three millimeter truck. That. So take a look at the bead that you went through. And what you want to do is you want to go across, directly across from it, so that you're lining up this bead right in the middle. So go through the one side. You can go through the either side of the bead that's directly across, but just make sure you go through the opposite side of this bead. So this one, the thread's coming out this side, we're going to go in the other side. And that just keeps it nice and centered. That's all that's for. And for some reason this is, there we go. Okay, so I'm coming out of this side, I'm going to go through the druck. Like that. And I'm going to go through the seed bead on the opposite side of where we started. Okay, 
And that is it for this one. So now what we're going to do is position ourselves down in the pearls. So go down the bicone. And go through a pearl. And now we're ready to add the next component. So here's the thing with this part here is you can add some beads next to it. That would save on your bicones as well as your fire polish or pearls. So you use, you know, some type of connecting bead, one or two or just one here or do a right angle weave and then your next component. But these, as you can see, they're all connected to each other and they look great. So we're gonna continue with that. So now what that means is you only need seven pearls instead of the eight that it takes for a full component because you have one combined. And there's So go ahead and add your seven pearls. The pearls are hard to get on because of the finish they have next to the holes. It's a little bit of a struggle. Like that. So we have seven there, and this makes eight. So we're coming out of this side, we're going to go into this side. So that creates the next loop, like that. Just like that. And you're going to go through this a second time, all the way around. I'm going to do that one separate. I don't want to scratch my pearls. I have a habit of doing that. There. Just like that. So we'll go ahead and do the same for this one. So the first step is to pick up two bicones. Sorry, pick up a bicone. And 11 0, then a bicone. Like that. Okay. So let's go through here. And we're going to, no, I'll do that separate. Just like that. Go through the next pearl. So you can see why I was saying that a, a size 12 needle might be less frustrating for you. Now, I kind of prefer to use a 10. I like to feel it in my hands. I find the 12s are so fine that there's not much to them. So I added a bicone, an 11 -0, and I'm coming out of this side of the pearl. So I'm going to go through the bicone and through the pearl. Just like that. Bicone, 11 -0. Oh, I need to go through. So if that happens, you, I because I was using this joint one here, the middle one, it's hard to get your needle through the next pearl. If you do that, just go ahead and go through the next pearl. These are um, Preciosa pearls that I'm using. You know, I'm such a hoarder when it comes to that stuff that I, 
I haven't, I, I've placed like three orders with shipwreck beads in the summer of pearls, pretty much pearls and crystals only. And, uh, I've used it once or twice. I'm like, oh, I got to start using them more. There we go. There. This one's going to turn out nice. So this one's for my sister Sylvia. Actually, I made this one for her, but I think she's going to want this one. Oh, I need... I'm getting ahead of myself. No, I guess I was right. I was already through the following pearl. So yeah, Jen's doing really well. Um, she's uh, the... Her toe wound looks really good and it's not swollen, it's not bleeding. Um, she hasn't really had much pain, although I did suggest she take the pain medication, you know, regularly. So, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for sending, uh, lovely messages in, in the comments. I really appreciate it. So did she. So today was my first day of swimming without her. That was so tough. It was the strangest thing. Because I had to go across the bridge into another town. It's, it sounds like it's a lot, but it's not. It's like I can see see it from from the shore. It's not like it's very far. But uh, she does all the driving now. And I don't do the driving. So like going through traffic and over the bridge and stuff like that. It's a bit... This is a bit stressful when you're not used to doing it. As she calls me her princess. She might be correct on that one. I forgot. You know part of it I think too that happens as we get older. Some of these skills are perishable. So if we're not doing it all the time. They deteriorate. And... Uh, because I'm used to just being happy-go-lucky looking out the window <laughs> like, like a squirrel. <laughs> you know, watching the ships go by in the harbor and stuff like that. Right? <laughs> I'll say to her, did you see that helicopter or that search and rescue plane? Because we, we're right beside the base where they take off for the search and rescue. And... Uh, it's so small town here. We like you'll hear about a rescue or something like that and then realize it's somebody you know. So yeah, so I'll say, yeah, did you see that plane? She's like, no, I'm trying to drive. <laughs> well, you're no fun. <laughs> so this is the last one. So I went through the first uh, bicone that we added. I'm putting the 11 O and I'm going to go through the last one we added and we'll complete this and I'll show you how to make the button. Let's put that in a bit. So you can see it's all wonky. We'll tighten that. And you just go through like this. And so I'm going to go up this one the bicone and I'm going to grab hold of all the 11 O's so that I can tighten them. So now we have to um, soak her toe three times a day, which is not too bad, but it does, you know, starts to take up some time. And the, um, the manager of the pool and the the lady at the front desk were asking about her. I said I had to sneak out while she was still asleep because <laughs> she wanted to come with me. They were like, "Oh, like, yep, that's my gal." Oh my god, she's wanting to get up. She's she's got stuff in her hands, and she says, "Um, 
here, do you want me to put this here? And I said, you know what? You know what your job is? It's to sit on the couch and make demands. Ask me what you want. I'll get it for you. I said, I don't want you tripping and smacking your toe. Like, you just had surgery. I'm just tightening that because it got a bit wonky there. through the pearl so that that tightens that little so I do find that I spend a lot of time tightening these guys um, if you don't get it the first time I might go through and tighten it again as well as I like these sitting up more but you might like them pop down a little so I end up just taking my needle and jamming it in there so let's go up here and we're going to add our drug. I'm just looking at this, seeing why it's getting so lopsided. And push that out there. Okay, pick up your drug. So you're coming out of, I need to be in an 11 -0. Coming out of the crystal, let's go through this drug, or this seed bead. And pick up your drug. So let's find, one of the ways you can find it, you can count, because there's eight beads there is just, just set your thread across, then you know. I need to go through, let's go through this one. And back through. And take a look at this. There. So here's another opportunity to go through the 11 O's again to straighten them out. So when you come through here, you can, there's a few times you can do that. That. Go through. And there. And then pull it there. So that seems to make this pop a little too. So you can see it pops up. So I would probably go through this one again to get it to pop. Tighten those beads. Okay, so now let's go, actually we don't, so you would just continue like that, so you'd come down through a bicone and then come back to, so the first one it didn't matter which pearl you added it to, but now you do have to line them up, so you got to make sure that you go through this one over here, so that it's in a line, otherwise your bracelet's going to go all wonky, so let's put that aside. And take a look. I have one done so I can show you the button, the difference with the button. And I don't think I need to show you how to put a strand of beads on here to make your opening. Uh, I did find, I think it was like 30 beads. So there's uh, 5, 10, 15. 20. Yeah, 30 beads to get over the button. And it's because the button is a little bigger because you end up doing this to it. So, and I should show you to attach it. You have, you're going to 
add one of these fire polished or for us we're going to put a pearl so let's take a look at this one here that I have okay I'm going to move this down and go through the pearl Let me see. Okay. So we're going to pick up five eleven O's. Okay. And we're coming out of this this pearl here. So you're going to go. through the pearl on the other side just like that okay now you're going to go through the next pearl we're going to add three seed beads this time but when we come out like we've come out of here we're going to add three we're going to go through these two here so that will make five and we're going to continue that around so one make sure those aren't connect yeah those are all stuck together one two three so pick up three coming out of this side here we're going to go through these two seed beads and through the pearl and through the next pearl to set us up for the next one like that so pick up three you're going to go through the last two like that and through the pearl and through the next pearl just like that and these are gonna they're gonna fall forward pick up three and go through two from the last ones through the pearl go through the next one do this one go through the next pearl okay pick up three like that Go through the last two. Go through the pearl and go through the next pearl. Uh, let's do this in two parts here. Okay, go through this pearl. Now I'm going to see if I can pull these in a bit. There. Pick up three. Go through the two. And go through the pearl. Go through the next pearl. So, so what this is doing is it's creating like a set of five 
over each pearl, but of course you're sharing two of the seed beads from the previous pearl. That's, and what that does is it, um, it folds it in like a little star pattern. Tighten the last ones a bit. There. We're going to tighten them anyway, so it's not a big deal. Pick up three. These are the last. Actually, okay, so this is the last one. So, as I said, we, we have like five seed beads for each pearl. Five, five, but the two are shared. So now if we have one here that has two shared and one here that has two shared. Well, now we only need to add one seed bead to complete the five on that pearl. So let's pick up, sorry, go through the, let's look at where our needle is. So our needle's coming out of this pearl. So we're going to go up through these two pearls, or two, uh, Chris, <laughs> two seed beads. 11 O's and then add the one 11 O and then go down these two like that there so now we're going to go through the pearl and then come back up okay so it's already starting to come together like a little star pattern. Now you're coming out of this pearl, so you're going to go up these seed beads here. So go up the two, and then we're going to pick up the middle bead of each element. So these ones that are sticking out, so that one, that one, that one. You go through all of them, and we're going to draw them together. That one, that one. There. So now we got them all. We're going to tighten this. Watch. It's my favorite part. It's like magic. I feel like it's a TikTok video. You know how they show beading in TikTok videos? They'll show you you know, a little part of it, and then all of a sudden they'll pull the string and it's like a beautiful bracelet. That's the kind of TikToks I like. <laughs> there we go. So that is the button part. Now we want to attach it. So let's go to our pieces that we added. And we're going to add it to the first one. And then I can continue on with my bracelet. So I'm just going to flip it over to, so I can see. And I'm going to tilt this a little more because I feel like I keep uh, going out of frame. My hands know where to go, but my brain doesn't. <laughs> so what we want to do is add this kind of like a toggle almost. So create this band. So we're going to pick up. An 11 o, a pearl, an 11 o, and then we'll do it the other way around with the multiple 11 o's. So we're going to go through one of the middle beads. So let's just go through this one. Ready to go. I'm wondering if I should tighten this through. I think I will. So I want to keep this nice and tight. So I'm going to go through, where are we here? Go through the seed beads. I'm going to go down and come back up. And that way it will be nice and tight and it won't get loose. So go through the pearl. Tight. And go back up your two there. 
and then pick up one of the middle beads. So I'll just go right next to it, to this middle bead here. We're going to pick up one eleven o. one pearl and one eleven o. We're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to take our line and go across to find our middle bead. So we have four on that side, four on that side. So we're going to go through this one here like that. Tighten it all up. So now we're going to go up through the seed bead that we added and the pearl. So we're going to reinforce this. We're going to go through the other seed bead as well, but let's do it in two steps here. Go through this one and go to the opposite side of the other seed bead like this. So that's nice and secure. Now we're going to go up through the seed bead and through the pearl. Through the seed bead, through the pearl. Get this nice and snug. Now we're going to add four 11 O's like that. And we're going to position this. So this is the bead we want to attach it to. This one here, if you go in the line, that's the bead. So we have the one side. We're going to go through this pearl. Like that. Then we're going to add four to the other side. Four eleven O's like that, and you can see where this is going here. So now we have four on this side, four on that side. We want to go through the pearl. And there is your button. So now we're going to go through these seed beads and pearls a few times because this is the area that's going to come apart if it's good, you know, if it gets hooked on something. So I like to make sure I do it at least three times. Two would probably do it with the type of line I'm using, um, but I still do three. Get it all nice and tight. It's just gonna flip it so we can work from the right. So I mentioned to my sister today, I got a message from her in an email and I responded saying that I was getting ready to do, oh, I skipped a bead there. I was getting ready to do this video. I don't think she's ever seen the bracelet. And I told she likes flower bracelets. And uh, so she's been doing, she'll watch one of my videos and mention that how much she likes it. And do I think it's possible to do it as a class? And, uh, and then she organizes, either I help her, organize some kits and ship it to her and then she has her um, the ladies from uh, let me do this in two sections here the ladies from the choir group that her daughter 
things with. And uh, they come over and they have a beading party and make bracelets. So I used to do those when I was in Ontario. Actually, I used to do them here. Sorry. When I was here in Nova Scotia. So this would make a great one because the instruction, once you get the instruction, it's repeated. So it's easy to... To do and people can continue at home especially since they have the videos <laughs> they can look at the video and see how is that done so this is it for the button and that is it for this bracelet I hope you enjoyed this um, I'm like kind of racking my brain on bracelet designs that you can do that you're going to get excited about if there's something that you've seen that you think would make a great or you'd like to know how to make it let me know and if you send me the picture I'm, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to make it so um, yeah and then at this point here you would just tie this in a knot and hide the thread I'm going to leave it since I have so much uh, of the bracelet to do left but oh my gosh this one's going to be amazing so there you go that's these <laughs> these lovely bracelets and again thank you so much to cindy if you're out there listening i know a lot of people have moved on since uh in the three years when the pandemic started um like most people have lives <laughs> so they're not on youtube all the time like me but uh, anyway, if you're out there, thank you so much. I still really appreciate everything you did for me. And I appreciate all my subscribers. And I'm getting ready to do the giveaway. So hang in there. I you know, has, have it on my calendar. Tomorrow's the day. I'm going to put them all together and do the drawing. So hopefully you'll see that in a day or two. Take care, everybody. Bye.